Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your ZOOS diagnostic tool and covers the basic vehicle identification process, accessing codes, using code scan, and activating a previously identified vehicle. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. The first step in diagnosing any vehicle is to identify the vehicle. The vehicle must be identified to correctly communicate with the vehicle's control modules, ensuring data is correctly displayed. Identification can be accomplished in two ways. Connecting to a vehicle and using the scanner function to identify a new vehicle, or by connecting to a previously identified vehicle and selecting its vehicle record from vehicle history records. Let's start by connecting to a vehicle and using scanner to identify a vehicle. Before we start, make sure no active vehicle is displayed in the lower toolbar. If a different vehicle is displayed, like in our example, you must clear it first. Tap the Change Vehicle icon to clear the previous vehicle. Connect the Compact Scan module to the vehicle's data link connector and ensure the vehicle key is in the ON position. Then select Scanner. Depending on the vehicle, you may be asked to select the make, year, model, and engine size. Follow the screen prompts to complete the identification. Some vehicles may support the automatic ID feature and automatically provide vehicle ID info to the scan tool. We connected to a 2010 Chrysler Town & Country minivan and then only needed to enter the make and year. Auto ID did the rest. Just confirm the identification to continue. Once the vehicle is identified, Scanner can be used to communicate with the various control modules on the vehicle to view codes, data, or perform tests. Let's search for engine-related codes, so we'll select Engine. Then we'll select Codes. This selection will vary across vehicles and may be listed as Codes, Codes Menu, Current Codes, etc. In our case, we'll select Codes Only. A list of all the current engine codes is displayed. Selecting the Diagnose icon on a code opens the Intelligent Diagnostics module. To learn more about that, see the Intelligent Diagnostics training video in this series. A quick way to view all vehicle codes and readiness monitor status is to use Code Scan. Code scan may be available from the system's menu, the same menu where we selected engine from before. Note, code scan is not available on some vehicles and may not appear in this menu. Selecting code scan actually starts a progressive scan of all supported control modules and displays the codes in a list. A progress bar is shown at the top indicating the active scanning progress. Once completed, the code scan results are displayed by system. At the top is shown the total number of systems detected. Scrolling down the list, we see each system with its related code total and individual code list. You can expand and collapse each system to change the view. Icons are used as a quick reference to indicate if codes are present. Yellow indicates there are codes, and green indicates no codes. Towards the end of the list, we also display a status list of the readiness monitors. Again, icons are used as a quick reference to indicate if monitor tests are complete or not. Green indicates test complete, and gray indicates test not complete. So what if we identified a vehicle, say last week, and now it's back to complete the repair or for retesting? Do we need to perform a complete vehicle identification again? No, we can save some time and use the saved vehicle record 
to activate a previously identified vehicle. Before we start, make sure no active vehicle is displayed, like it is here. If it is not, then select Change Vehicle from the bottom toolbar to clear the previous vehicle. After connecting the Compact Scan Module to the vehicle's data link connector, ensure the vehicle key is in the ON position. Select Vehicle History. Vehicle records are stored for all previously identified vehicles. To activate the vehicle, simply select the vehicle record and then tap Activate. Note the active vehicle title is now displayed in the lower toolbar. After you confirm the vehicle, you can now use Scanner to communicate with the various control modules on the vehicle to view codes, data, or perform tests. Did you know that when a vehicle is activated, even if you're not connected to the vehicle, you can still access vehicle-related information from other functions, like code-related repair information from SureTrack and oil specs from Quick Lookups via an internet connection. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next great product from Snap-on.